Hey there YouTube, this is Annie for Horses and I'm going to show you how to get uh, Skype on your neat little U3 device. Um, I just noticed that um, I went on the uh, download program site and they don't have uh, Skype up there anymore for you to download. Skype is a nice little um, semi-free service. It's free if you call other Skype users. It costs you a little if you uh, want to call landlines or cell phones I think. But I figured out that poking around through my uh, old uh, U3 drive, they have left behind a neat little installation package. So, what you're going to want to do is first go look in my description, and I have a uh, link to a RapidShare uh, page. This will have a zip file that you're going to want to download. So, what you want to do, unless you're a premium user, you go ahead and hit premium. Uh, hit free user if that's you. And you should be taken to, let's load this up, okay, well I've got error here because I've already been downloading stuff, so, but you should be able to get this uh, zip file downloaded. What we'll do is minimize that, and I have up here the Skype uh, 2.5.14.140 file for E3, but you want to, wait, because it's a zip file, what you want to do is open up that file. And let this thing load up. My arm's kind of retarded. And then inside here, you're going to have the uh, .u3p file. And that's what the U3 device is going to be looking for if you want to install stuff. So what I'm going to do is click it drag it out to your desktop, extract it, give it a moment, alright good, so you should have your skype.3up file sitting there on your desktop, now I'll exit out of that, so now you're going to want to go to your virgin u3 device, and, and I don't have anything installed here, uh, I just cleaned out everything because I already have another one, and what you want to do is go to add program and then scroll down to install from my computer. Now it's going to take you to your desktop or anywhere you, you want to go. Um, I've installed it. I'll I mean, uh, put the uh, file on my desktop. If you wanted to put it someplace else, you might have to look, you know, my computer or my documents or whatever. So what you want to do is click on the the, extra, the extracted um, .u3p file. Anything else is not going to work because it's specifically looking for U3 package files. And the extension would be .u3p. So you want to click on that, hit open, and give it a moment. Okay. And then here you hopefully if you've done everything right. You should get the Add Program Wizard for your U3 device. Then your name Skype, Skype Limited, and then uh, blah, blah, blah. So you can hit next. And you should see this little window. Give it a moment. Okay, and it says a uh, program Skype was successfully installed on the U3 Smart Drive and now appears on, in the program list the U3 Launchpad and you can run it from there. So, we're going to hit None. And just to give a little test run. Ah, look at that. We have Skype on here. So, I'm going to click on that. Initialize it. Looks like we got it. Well, I'm going to obviously see this. Um, this is how you do create a new account on for uh, Skype. I've already done that, so I'm just going to cancel that out. I'm going to put in my login info. Give me a moment.
if you want to, you can uh, go in, you know, click or unclick, you know, sign me in when Skype starts, or start, start Skype when the computer starts, if that's the thing to do, and then hit sign in. And then you'll see me, I'm signing in. And uh, here I am. I'm all logged in. I'll oh, what was that? Oh, that was interesting. Uh, so, well, here I am. I have Skype going. Uh, feel free to call me if you like. And if you want to. Uh, i got to get myself a uh, microphone. But here you are. You have just successfully installed Skype on your U3 device. And didn't have to fuss around in forums or anything to go look for it. You found it right here. Thanks for watching.